Alright. Alright. Welcome to the Laugh Kings NFL Weekly Picks and Best Bets. How are y'all doing? Doing good. Doing good. How about you? Good, good. Ready to go over these results from week five. Looks like we all did pretty decent here. So I guess we'll start with the person who did the best for that last week. Finally, I get to go with me. Oh, it's not me? Okay. It's not me. Right. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> So I had uh, I went nine four and one, and that brings my grand total. Still sucks, but it's getting better. It's thirty one forty three and four, and the best bet five and zero. Oh. So y'all be listening to my best bets, <laughs> make some money. Um, then we go to Jace. His week five, he went eight five and one. Total, he has the best total from the three of us. It's 42, 32, and 4. And his best bets has climbed over 500. He's at 3 and 2. All right, moving on to JR. He also was over 500 for the week, so he finished at 7, 6, and 1. Total, not far off of Jace, mm -hmm. is 40, 34, and 4. Your best bets, two and three. Let's get it to 500 this week. Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> slipping, JR, slipping. <laughs> Not too bad still, you guys. I think... Yeah. You it was a good are, week for all of us. Yeah, neck and neck, mm -hmm. you guys are battling it out too, yeah. so... But with the... You know, there's always hope. There's week six. So we could head into week six and we can close the gap on some of these... With some of these wins. So let's start on the Thursday game. We've got the uh, San Francisco 49ers at the Seattle Seahawks. San Francisco is favored on the road at minus three and a half. They did sign a kicker because their kicker got hurt. Um, I'll go 49ers to cover minus three and a half on the road. Yeah, I'm with Uncle Sammy on this one. The spreads in the previous week, they're like minus six, minus nine. Finally, this one's reasonable for San Francisco. Mm -hmm. But you know what? They should cover it. All right. I actually got the Seahawks at uh, plus three and a half. Um, I, think, I think they're going to come around this week. So I got the Seahawks. Okay. Heading into Sunday, we start bright and early in the morning at 930. We got the NFL International Series in London. They're back at London. The Jags are taking on the Bears. The Bears are designated the home team and they're favored by minus two and a half. But because the Jags play most of their games in London, like every year, I think Jags might feel like the home team, to be honest. But that doesn't change me picking the Bears to cover minus two and a half. Yeah, Jacks had a good game last week, but I think the Bears got this one. Yep, I also got the Bears as well. All right. I'll give the disclaimer game, all Titans fans. So talking about the Indianapolis Colts at the Tennessee Titans. Um, the Colts are favored on the road, minus one. I'm... You guys know. I'm, I'm going to go with the Titans on this one. Off the bye, at home. Let's go, Will Levis, if you're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going Titans on this one. Yeah, I got the Titans as well. Their last game was against the Dolphins, and they had a bye. So it should be they should be well-rested and hopefully hungry for a win. So I got the Titans as well. Okay. We move to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the New Orleans Saints. In in New Orleans, um, thank God not in Tampa Bay. Like, hope everyone is okay after with Hurricane Milton on the way. Um, the Bucks are favored on the road, minus two and a half, and the Saints are without Derek Carr for multiple weeks. So we don't know the just to give we should say as well we filmed this on tuesday so these spreads are the early spreads so we don't know what the you know who's gonna replace Derek carr and stuff so we're going off of that but i still take uh tampa bay bucks minus two and a half 
Yeah, I like the Bucks this season. Um, one of my favorite teams coming up. So I got the Bucks too. Yeah, same here. I got the Bucks as well. Obviously, Derek Carr going down. So I think the Saints are in panic mode, and I think the Buccaneers are going to be hungry and looking for to take advantage of that. So I got the Bucks as well. All right. All right, now we got Arizona at Green Bay with Green Bay favored minus five. I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers. Arizona's up and down. Got a little lucky last week um, with the kicker for San Francisco being hurt. Uh, I'll take Green Bay to cover minus five. I got Arizona. I think they'll carry that momentum into the game. Hmm. All right, and I actually got the Packers. All right. Now we move on to Cleveland Browns and the Philadelphia Eagles at Philly. Both teams underperforming. I think people had more expectations for the Eagles, but I think they're coming off that bye. So they may get their wide receivers back. Might be clicking at the right time. Um, the bye came at the right time for them. So give me the Eagles to cover Minus eight and a half uh, at home. Yeah, it's a big spread, but I think I'm aligned with Uncle Sammy. I'm taking the Eagles out. Yeah, it's hard to... The Eagles are one of the teams it's hard to bet against. Um, but with such a big spread, it almost seems too easy. So I got to go with the Eagles here on this one. Right. Now we head to the Houston Texans at the New England Patriots. And they just announced in New England that Drake May is the starting quarterback. The number three overall pick. Starting for the Patriots now. I'm leaning to give them that chance. Let's go. I'll take the New England Patriots at home to cover plus seven. Uh, let's see if Drake May can, can, can change, turn things around for New England. Yeah, man, that's exactly what they needed. So I, I was on the same line thinking as you, Uncle Sammy. So I got New England. Hmm. All right. And same here. The Texans, they they look good. But I think that's too much of a big spread for them. So I'm actually going to go for the Patriots as well on this one. Right. This game is intriguing to me. The Washington Commanders are heading to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. And the Ravens are favored minus six and a half. The Commanders have been so impressive to me. They're um, solid. They're solid. Yeah. I, I, you know, Bengals gave Baltimore a run for their money. So I think similarly, the Commanders will too. So I'll take the points. So I'll take the Commanders on the road to cover uh, plus six and a half. Yes, man, Uncle Sammy, we, it looks like we might have a similar pick. <laughs> <laughs> week, but yeah, I'm, I, I agree with that. I agree with the thinking. I agree that I don't like the Ravens because they messed me up last week. But anyways, <laughs> I'm taking the commanders on this one. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm actually going with the Ravens. Lamar Jackson is just, he seems like he's from a different planet. His agility, his ability is just unbelievable. Um, and of course, King Henry. How, how, how can you also go against him? So I got the Ravens here and I'm coming for you guys. <laughs> All righty. So now we're heading to the LA Chargers and the Denver at the Denver Broncos. I believe in, I think the Chargers have so much talent, but they're just not putting it all together um, yet. But I think. Give them that buy. Let's let's go with the Chargers to cover on the road minus three. Chargers again. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally aligned. Listen, we haven't rehearsed this before. This is the first time we're all hearing each other's picks, so I'm not copying. <laughs> like you wouldn't want to copy me. Yeah. You wouldn't want to. I don't want to copy you. <laughs> Chargers. I got Chargers. <laughs> Damn, now I got to change my... No, I'm kidding. I also got the Chargers as well. Um, at minus three, I think uh, I think it's pretty convincing. So I got the Chargers. Yes. Yeah, this is another interesting game because um, I don't know which way it's going to go because Pittsburgh's um, going to Las Vegas. So 
their favorite, Pittsburgh's favorite on the road, minus three. I think potentially they haven't announced anything yet, but may, will we see Russell Wilson this week? Hmm. Mm. You know what? Wh whether they play Russell Wilson or not, I'm going to stick with the Steelers to cover minus three. Yeah, I'm sticking with the Steelers <laughs> as well. Um, Raiders kind of have a question at the QB position, so I, I like the Pittsburgh Steelers. Hmm, all right, and I also got the Steelers as well. Um, seems like the Raiders are dealing with uh, Devontae Adams and his potential trade or whatnot. Um, and even if uh, Wilson is playing or not, I still do think, though, the Steelers got a pretty good rhythm this, this season. So I got the Steelers as well. All right. Alignment is the key word this week, I guess. Uh, we go into uh, the Atlanta Falcons going to the Carolina Panthers. Atlanta's on the road, um, minus six. I'll go with Atlanta, cover minus six. Going with the Panthers on this one, I think I'm going to switch it up. I know they're horrible, but um, <laughs> they should be able to to close the gap, let's say. Mm, all right. And uh, I'm actually going for the Falcons here. I was thinking and hesitating to go with the Panthers, Jace, for that same reason. Right. But they're bad. They stink. <laughs> so, I mean, but they're one of those teams that could sneak out a, a yeah. win. So, I don't know. But this week, I'm going to go with the Falcons. Okay. Got three games left. We got the Lions going to Dallas. And their lines are favored on the road, minus three and a half. I'm going to go with the Lions on the road to cover minus three and a half. Dallas is up and down, and I don't know. I just, let's go with the Lions. I don't know, man. I have a good feeling about Dallas the last couple weeks. I didn't take them last week, but they showed me up. The Cowgirls are going to take it this week. So <laughs> I, I got them to cover the spread. <laughs> All right, and I also got the uh, Cowboys as well. They were my best bet last week, and they did me a solid. So, you know, when uh, I'm, I'm going to go with the, the Cowboys again here. So that's what I got. Okay. Uh, the Cincinnati Bengals are traveling to the New York Giants on the Sunday night game. And the Cincinnati Bengals are favored. A lot of road teams are favored this week, I'm noticing. Uh, the Bengals are favored on the road, minus three and a half. And I got to go with the Bengals. Um, I know they're one and four. And Daniel Jones looked pretty okay last week, but uh, still going with the Bengals to cover minus three and a half. No, man, something's up. Something's definitely off with the Bengals. I can't put my head on it. What's going on with their team? I don't know what it is. So. For that reason, I'm, I'm taking the Giants at home. Hmm. All right. And I also got the Giants as well. Um, the Bengals just look like something's really off. I don't know. Um, who knows? Would we possibly see a midseason shakeup with maybe a change in coaching staff or whatnot? But, yeah, they don't look good at all. The Giants don't look any better either. But, I mean, I, I do think, though, that uh, the Giants are going are gonna to take this one. Okay, that leads us to the last game, the Monday night game. And this game is also interesting because the Buffalo Bills are traveling to the New York Jets. But the New York Jets have going to have a new head coach because they fired Robert Sala. It was crazy the way it happened. He came into the building, if you guys heard, and then they fired, the owner fired him. And then he wasn't allowed to speak to the team. And Aaron Rodgers said he didn't even know that that was coming. Interesting. Mid-season firing. Not but sure who, how... Who's Aaron Rodgers going to hire then? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's an interim coach, so it's not yeah, going to happen till the yeah. end of the year. So they did that's it why, bad. That's why it's kind of weird. Like, who yeah. are you going to replace him with? But maybe sometimes... They the weren't like 0-5 or anything like that. They were actually getting some rhythm last yeah. few weeks. They don't score, though. Like, with Aaron Rodgers, I think you've got to be a better team, right? But let's see. This week, though... Saying all that, with all that, uh, 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 all that uh, chaos around them, give me the Jets to cover the <laughs> plus two and a half. Sammy, just like your love life, you love the chaos. <laughs> 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 well, I got the bills on this one. I think the chaos is there to their disadvantage on this one. 
Hmm. All right. And I also got the Bills as well. Seems like a, a lot's going on with the Jets there. Um, so who knows? I, I, I don't think it'll be enough to kind of propel them. So I think uh, the Bills are going to come out on top. And the Bills look good anyways. So, And the Bills is one of those teams that it's hard to bet against them. So I got the Bills. All right. So that's our picks for this week. Now heading to the best bets. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm 5-0 so I'm going to put that undefeated record up and I, I, it's funny I'm heading to a game that you guys were completely against me on and my best bet is actually the Cincinnati Bengals minus 3.5 to defeat the New York Giants on the road damn damn that is that uh, let me not say. <laughs> well, my best bet is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers. With what we talked about earlier, I think their defense is going to just feast on these guys. Mm, all right. And my best bet for the week is going to be the Seattle Seahawks. Look, last week, <clears throat> excuse me, last week, 49ers were supposed to win. They didn't. Their kicker did get injured, unfortunately. But I think that might be a little kind of a little chink in their armor. And I think the, the Seahawks are going to come out on top of this one. So they're my best bet for this week. Jr., nice. what's a Seahawk? <laughs> a sea hawk. <laughs> a hawk that that's in a sea. Yeah. Hangs up by the sea. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Jace, what is finish it off for us yeah that's our that's our uh, predictions and best bet for week six thank you for following us thank you for subscribing you can find us anywhere on the socials at the last kings with a z for the audio heads find us at the last Kings. just search your local podcast provider also anything and everything go to direct.me slash last kings one 